Well, good day to you. You join us on uh, a pretty wet afternoon here. The clouds have opened and it is uh, raining, a little bit wet and miserable. But that ought not to put us off. We are all indeed itching to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this, in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be, with or without the rain. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There is a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm, I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works. It's still valid. And I think we're going to see it be successful here. So it's down to business here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I would say Christian Benteke, a striker with all the classic qualities to lead the line. As a finisher, too, he can call upon power and, and guile, which is a potent and, well, pretty deadly mix. OK, interesting. Maya Looks to clip it forward. Another chance from a corner. Harmlessly behind. <laughs> MacArthur gets it back. Maya. Crystal Palace have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. First quarter of an hour gone. Manchester so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Saha. And the flag has stayed down. Townsend played into the middle and it's hoisted clear and it's Townsend Popper Shaw plays it forward, and he just whacks it away. Townsend. Benteke. Townsend. Floats one over. Well played, he saw that coming. Pogba. Lukaku. Rashford has been found out wide to the right plenty waiting in the middle surely shakes the shoots Been leave it clear. Rashford. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing.
Kelly. MacArthur spreads it towards the left. And we've reached half time. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So we reached the halfway point. Manchester ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. And the game has already resumed here. So deadlock still as the second half begins. it into the area gets up to head it and oh he's got that completely wrong Activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. And it's Lingard. Can he finish? Lingard. Townsend. Lukaku. Oh, good interception. Ashley Young. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept, so nobody has a swing at it! Danger averted for now. Forward it goes. Benteke. Nicely controlled. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Over to the left. Van Arnholt, in again, great leap! Cleared without complication. And it's Van Arnholt. And it's got through. And it's hoisted clear. Crystal Palace really have struggled with their service into the box. It's been aimless and ugly. Rashford. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Keeper goes long. Manchester showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. defending but that'll do Ashley Young positions himself well and cuts it out and that is that and stalemate one if not for fans then perhaps for coaches satisfied by organization and solidity little cutting edge at either end and it finishes nil nil how would you sum up what we've witnessed Jim well, neither side could get over the line here. Perhaps one team might be happier, but at the final reckoning, it's honours even and no complaints. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye.